Uh, you know, my sister Mary, amongst the young folk, I suppose she was one of the most popular girls in town. I'll tell you how popular she was. You know, we used to go to parties, and we used to play games there. And one of the games we used to play, the way we play it, we'd blindfold one of the girls, then she'd go around amongst the boys and put her hand on one of them, and if she guessed who he was, he either had to kiss her or else give her a dollar. Why, sometimes Mary used to come away from there with 35 or 40 dollars. Now, Mother was one of these women. You know, everybody liked her because she had everything so neat and clean around the house. Why, you could actually eat right off the floor. In fact, we used to do it. And you know, Mother was one of these women. I remember she was all the time getting recipes out of the newspapers, how to cook things. I remember one time Mother found a recipe in the newspaper directing how to make farmer's soup. And Mother went at this soup, and it took her about a half a day to make it. And when she had it made, she put it on the table, and I didn't like the smell of it, so I didn't eat any of it. But Hank, my brother, ate some of his, and it made him sick. Well, Father saw it couldn't be very good from the way Hank acted, and so, but he made up his mind that he'd try it and get it over with as soon as he could. So he closed his eyes and drank a big bowl full of it, and he fell over on the floor in a fit. And I said to Hank, I said, Hank, run for the doctor, quick. And Hank started off on a run, and after he had gone, I took Mother in the other room, and I said, Mother, I guess you poisoned them. And she said, no, I haven't. She said, that's soup. She says, I made it just according to the directions from the newspaper. And I looked in the paper, and I said, I can't find where it says soup. And Mother said, well, what's the matter with you? Are you blind? She says, there it is, right there in front of your face and eyes. S-O-A-P, soup. And I told her, wife, well, says, Mother, that spells soap. I said, you filled Father and Hank full of soft soap. Well, you know, Hank ran all the way to the doctor's. And by the time he got there, from running and one thing or another, why the poor fellow was so full of blood, he couldn't see. And the doctor threw him down and put a muzzle on him. Thought he had hydrophobia. Well, while I was talking with Mother, every once in a while I could hear the baby in the other room. She'd begin to laugh and clap her hands. And I went in there to see what was making the baby laugh. And the father lay there on the floor on his back, coughing. And every time he coughed, He'd blow a soap bubble.